Aloha everyone. I'm Rick Kirkham with ComputerHelp808.com. Today we're going to attach a file to an email and we're also going to forward that email with the attachment to another person. So we're going to compose our email first. Then we're going to go on over here to the far right hand side. This is uh, Gmail's new set up here as as of doing this and we're just gonna email this to ourselves now once you type something in to a computer or a cell phone you should never have to type it in again and I tell this to my computer tutoring students and my cell phone tutoring students as well too so we can click on there for a subject we can type in uh, enjoy the ebook Click in here for the body of the message. Here is the ebook on setting up Yahoo email and attaching photos. Something I wrote a while back. And now we want to attach the photo or the ebook to the email so it's all the same procedure it doesn't matter if it's a photo an Excel file an ebook whatever basically to attach something in an office you look for a paper clip so we're gonna look for the paper clip and whoa there it is right there we can left mouse click on that uh, in this case our document section has opened up whatever you use last to attach something is what will open up so I'm left mouse clicking on this slide bar now and here we are setting up and using email left mouse click I can either double left click or I can single left mouse click and then select open okay and then if we go over here we see what's called a progress bar that's this little thing right here and I always tell my computer tutoring students X to exit so if I want to cancel this attachment at any time during or after the process I can just left mouse click on the X to get rid of the attachment okay progress bar is done that means the attachment is all finished so now we just click on send to send the email left mouse click good and it tells us up here a message has been sent and now when we get this email we're going to forward the email the difference between replying to an email and forwarding an email is when you forward an email you will keep the attachment and there we are right there so to open this I'm gonna click on the subject okay and there's the attachment right there so I can download this if I want to I'm using Google Chrome which is the recommended internet browser by Google <laughs> to use in Gmail and other uh, Google applications but if I left mouse click on that I can download it and it shows up right down here in uh, Google Chrome shows up other ways in different browsers uh, but now we want to forward this email I don't particularly care for these types of things here because for end users and as an in-home computer tutor here in Honolulu Hawaii I don't think that this type of graphic user uh, button here is very friendly because you gotta put your mouse over it to try and see what it does so this will reply if I want to reply to the original sender or if I want to hit reply and then delete that email send it to somebody else for some strange reason it will not keep the attachment but if I hit this down arrow here which when you put your mouse over you notice it says more I now have the option of forwarding the email okay. when I do that I can now select to uh, we're just going to send this to ourselves again so computer help Hawaii there we go I'll be I will not be replying to this email by the way in case anyone ever wants to send me anything uh, this is just a 
junk email address here to give you a lesson. Uh, I had one client who wanted to reattach the email because of all this stuff in the body of the email that was there already. Well, you can just do, you can just get rid of that, folks. Uh, left mouse click on here and highlight it all. And then I always tell people right mouse click for a menu, left mouse click for an action. We can go up here, left mouse click on delete, and everything's gone. So now it's just like a brand new email, except you've still got the attachment. Okay, and then I could send this email to someone else. Um, here is that great book you lost but had already paid uh, for. Yes, I'm ending a phrase in a preposition and I'm a writer. Sorry about that. Uh, how about it? There we go. But you had already paid for it. There. Okay, I'm happy now and let's say for some reason here's the subject right up here here's the ebook on setting up Yahoo if I want to edit the subject here's a little here's a little down arrow right here I can click on this I can click on this down arrow or on this one and I can click on edit subject okay when I do that this comes back up over here I still have my attachment you can see it right here but now my subject is in blue. Anytime you see something in blue, you can overwrite anything in blue. So yeah, I don't have to now. If I do that and I see a lot of my computer and students, they think they gotta have their mouse in there, even if it's highlighted in blue. So they click on there then they start to type something else then they look up on the screen because they were looking at the keyboard as they were typing and whoa and behold the old thing is there too but that's all right we can get rid of that too left mouse click left we can drag it and now this time i can just press the delete key on the keyboard there's a lot of ways to delete things i actually had a computer before they came with a mouse automatically. Okay, so now we can send this. And the email has already been sent. Go look into the inbox here. And there's our other email. So that is how you attach an email in Gmail and how you forward that attachment to another person and how you clean up the email before you do that. If you have any more questions at all, visit computerhelp808.com or godsbusinessway.com. And I thank you for your time. God bless. Aloha.